Hello YouTube, I'm Rob and welcome to the Divine Eye channel. This time we're in Montreal for a weekend getaway and we will share with you our top five highlights from our trip. Join us as we explore the sights and sounds of this beautiful place that will have you saying, J'aime Montreal. First up on our list is La Ronde Amusement Park operated by Six Flags. It's only an hour and a half to two hour drive from our home in Vermont. La Ronde is an easy to get to place for adventure seekers and families looking for fun. We took our eight-year-old here to go on his first roller coaster ride, and he loved it. Laron sits on the St. Lawrence River on a human-made extension to the St. Helens Island. It was created for the 1967 World Fair and is entertaining about 2.5 million visitors each year. With views of the St. Lawrence River, Jacques Cartier Bridge, and Montreal's skyline as a backdrop, the location of this theme park is as exciting as the rides. It's a great starting place for your family trip to Montreal. Let us know what you think in the comments below. Our second highlight was exploring St. Helens Island further. With striking sculptures and skyline views of the city, it was a perfect place to picnic after La Ronde. If you like this content, please hit the like button. My dream is to make more travel videos. Hit subscribe for more content like this. Help us reach our goal of a thousand subscribers. New subscribers to the channel should comment below telling us that you subscribed and I will get back to you. The Biosphere is an iconic landmark on St. Helens worth mentioning. Designed by famed architect Buckminster Fuller, it is an environmental museum and striking to look at. We left St. Helens Island feeling inspired by the forward thinking of this place. We hit the road and crossed the St. Lawrence to head into downtown Montreal. Our trip is fast and we wanted to stay near the heart of the action. We typically stay in Airbnbs but decided this time to stay at St. Sulpice Hotel. St. Sulpice is a swanky hotel in Old Montreal near Notre Dame Basilica. We got a room overlooking the courtyard. The place was more luxurious and expensive than typical for us, but it had all the accommodations my family needed, and its central location in Montreal was key. It was the perfect place to return to after our adventures. It's so nice when things go according to plan. The third highlight from our weekend getaway was seeing a laser light show at Notre Dame Basilica. In 2023, Angie, a group that compiles TripAdvisor reviews, ranked Notre Dame Basilica as the sixth most beautiful building in the entire world. Today, the building is on Canada's National Historic Sites Registry and boasts 11 million visitors per year. It is a great example of Gothic Revival architecture and definitely something worth checking out during your stay in Montreal. If you like this content, please hit like. If you subscribe, let me know in the comments below and I will reply back. Notre Dame Basilica is one of the most visited places in North America. Comment below if you've been there or if you'd like to go. We ended our evening walking around and getting pizza at one of our favorite places, Slice and Soda. Notre Dame Basilica has fairy tale charm. Caught this moonshot on the way back to the hotel. Pro tip, if you come to Old Montreal and get up early, you pretty much have the streets all to yourself. Walking around Old Montreal is very cool. You feel like you are in another place. Our fourth highlight was walking the streets of Old Montreal. Old Montreal, folks, is where it's at. Super cool. Old Montreal has a European feel. 
and it's great at any point in the day, with lots of shopping and restaurants nearby. We caught this amazing street performer in the late afternoon. Saturday nights at nights. Kind of walk and turn this way here. Great lighting right now. Jacques Cartier Square is a must-see destination when visiting Montreal. It has tons of food options, artists, and is a great people-watching location. We had an early dinner at Trattoria Joe. With so much to see and do, we've only scratched the surface. Comment below with your recommendations. Our fifth and final highlight was walking the waterfront of Old Port. So it is early on Sunday morning, Memorial Day weekend. This place was jam-packed last night. People everywhere, it was gorgeous weather. Everyone's just looking to get out and start to kick off their summer. But you wake up early, you can have it all to yourself. It's kind of neat. Sorry for the bouncing as I'm walking. I'm trying to get some good pace in. I want to try to capture this golden hour. It's golden light actually now because I've missed the golden hour, but uh, I'm gonna try to get the light hitting the city. Let's see if I get some good drone shots of Montreal from the air. Take a ride upon the famous La Grande Rue de Montreal, catch a Cirque du Soleil show, go ziplining, shopping, or better yet, climb the ropes at Voiles en Voiles. This riverfront destination is friendly for kids or the kid at heart. Be sure to walk a little further up to see the iconic clock tower overlooking the St. Lawrence River. It's a great place to get that Instagram picture during your stay in Montreal. There's even a little public beach hangout area to soak in the sun. Check it out. Well, those were our top five highlights from our whirlwind weekend in Montreal. We live close by and hope to return again to the area real soon. Tell us what you would recommend to do or what you would want to do on your trip in the comments below, and we may make a follow-up video from your suggestions. If you stayed watching the video for this long, please like the content as it helps the channel. Subscribe for more related videos. Comment below that you're a new subscriber and I will reply back to you. Thanks, YouTube. This is Rob signing off for now. J'ai Montréal.